Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a quick look at the latest version of Firefox web browser. The Mozilla Firefox has been updated today. It's now called Firefox Quantum and it is version 57 of Firefox released today November 14th. So what's new in here? Well this is a new direction. Um, Mozilla has been working on this for more than a year now and it has interesting results. So first thing you'll notice, a redesigned Firefox icon. So it's a more modern and more uh, stylish look to the old Firefox um, you know, icon that was there before. So that's the first thing you notice. Second thing you notice is a change in the look and feel. The UI has been actually modernized. Uh, feels more like, you know, like when I used it and actually opened it the first time, I thought it feels more like Microsoft Edge, which I do find is a kind of modern looking browser compared to the other browsers, and it certainly feels more modern than Google Chrome does. Now, a lot of promises are there with the Firefox 57. One of them is speed. It apparently is two to three times faster than Firefox 52. So that's where they take their number from, not from Firefox 56 or 55, but from Firefox 52. And they've been really working hard. And this is the first Mozilla Firefox that you can pretty much say is totally redesigned from the ground up. So web pages load quite fast. I have to say I've been impressed at the speed that the pages load on Firefox Quantum. And uh, I'm pretty sure that it's among the fastest, uh, it's it's noticeable. It's not like, you know, every time there's a new browser, they always say, well, you know, it's faster. And you're like, well, I don't see where it's faster, but I gotta say this one wins. It's really much faster than the other browsers uh, were and um, really, really is amazingly fast. And I think it's worth to take a look at this browser uh, for sure, because it is quite surprising. So apart from the UI that is more modern and actually looks more modern than Google Chrome for sure, they've done a lot of changes under the hood. Uh, it's the first version of uh, Firefox that actually can use the multi-core processes. Um, other older versions until now were still using the single thread and not really using any power from multi-core processors. Firefox Quantum does that. It can use the power of your PC to the max. That's why it's faster. That's why it actually feels better. It uses less RAM than other uh, browsers, but we'll be looking at that because tomorrow we'll be doing tests with the browsers. So we'll see what is going to happen. One of the negative sides is if you have add-ons, if you have a lot of little add-ons in there, um, they've changed the add-on uh, language and they're using more of the Chrome style language for add-ons. That means most of the popular add-ons have been updated to work with Firefox Quantum. But if you have one of those, you know, unique little add-on and it has not been updated, it will be incompatible with this version. Apart from that, um, a few other things that are happening here is the add, add of uh, a new feature called Pocket List. Now the pocket is, um, if you've used Microsoft Edge and you've used the set aside tabs, it's essentially the same feature. You can set aside uh, tabs to view later. So pocket is there for that. So basically what happens is you set your, um, you know, different websites that you want to keep for later. So here, if I want to keep this one, I right click and you have, of course, the save page to pocket. And so when you do this, it actually saves to pocket. When you want to view what's in the pocket list, well, it's available here. So you can actually go here, say view pocket list. It will show the different websites that you have actually saved in here that you want to recall for later. Um, of course, also there's um, a little bit of a redesign of the different menus and everything, the icons, the colors used makes it a little clearer and uh, actually is very, very, very nice. So we will be testing this browser uh, tomorrow. We'll be testing Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome, uh, Firefox Quantum, 
and Opera, the latest version of Opera. And we will be checking out what this uh, browser can do. But it is a very interesting browser. Is it going to be able to get back the market share that it lost? That's another story. But it's a very, very nice browser. I think uh, Firefox Mozilla did a great job in updating this one for sure. And um, this is just the beginning. This is the beginning of several major um, add-ons and major updates that will bring all sorts of new technologies within the browser. So, of course, as time goes, we will see other new features. And of course, um, some of you that are using the Firefox Nightly, which is the latest, latest and most um, advanced beta version of Firefox in general, are already seeing some of these new technologies in there. As for browsing, I browsed with it a little bit, but not extensively, so I can't really say, you know, the previous versions had a few bugs in the, uh, the, the way the web pages would show up and things would actually happen, but this one seems to be uh, quite stable for now, and of course, as I do my tests tomorrow, we'll be checking that out. So, um, great new browser by uh, Mozilla, Firefox Quantum, or Firefox 66. If you don't see it arrive to your PC, simply go to the help menu in Firefox, go about Firefox, and it should update itself to Firefox Quantum version 57. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.